Alrighty, it's a couple days after Thanksgiving and I've got all my coops boarded up. So they got a windbreak and can get out of the elements and they're all pushed together right here. I've condensed everything down to nine 12 foot pins and then one 10 foot pin. They're all 12 by four and then one 10 by four. But uh, in this video, I'll show you all my birds I'm deciding to winter. And it's about 150. So, in this first pen, I have band and white crested blacks and blues. Frizzle and smooth, obviously. Let me get over here kind of a project pin. Uh, I started some Bantam Self Blacks and Self Chocolates. And I have them in with my White Crested Chocolates. So. These are them. I got some of them in a the frizzle. Like you can see those two girls back there. Four girls back there actually, they have frizzle. And they're going to be going towards the self project. And one khaki, white crested khaki rooster behind that black one. You can see him real good. Next, we got Bantam Buff Laced. I really like this line. I don't know, there's this, this hen right here. I show. There's another hen in the back there that I show. And most of them are young pullets I hatched this year. Next, we have Bantam Gold Laced along with my project Bantam Candy Corns. You can see gold laced here. Project Bantam candy corn here. Cockerel there. Those came out of the Bantam candy corn project, but they're almost like self keeping. They have some gold leakage in their hackle. But pretty close to self cuckoos. And then there's one frizzle candy corn male back there. Now wait, I want to show you all something. See, with my gold lace pins, I get incomplete lacing. Like there's almost three stages of it. There's that, and then there's ones like those, and like those, and then there's this pullet, which is fairly good. But the lacing's kind of incomplete on some of them. I think I have three hens that are incomplete like that. And I'm not sure what causes that. I mean, they don't have all the genes for lacing, obviously, but I'm not sure why it just appears because I hatched all three of them this year out of these birds. So I'm not quite sure what happened there, but I'm gonna hatch again next year and see what happens next spring. Here's man, I'm silver laced. There's a couple frizzle hands in here. They're probably in the back. But, uh, yeah. I showed her, and she did pretty good. She got reserve breed. And my buff lace got best in breed, the polis. Anyway. So those were all the Bantam Polish I'm winterizing. Um, and we get into silkies. A lot of paint silkies, paint silky pullets. I hatched and just kept a big group of them. Um, 
black showgirl. Just a white silky. There's a pink showgirl back there. Then we get into large fell toll bunts. Now this male almost just looks modeled. He has some gold in him, but he's almost just modeled. I don't know, he came out good. So I'm gonna try to breed him to some of the uh, the lighter red hens, like these ones. Some of them just have more of that red color. See if that does anything. I'll, I'll breed them to all of them, but kind of watch and see how offspring from different hens develop and how they feather out. Kind of compare and contrast. Here's large fowl white cresteds. That's flash rooster back there. And then my black rooster here. These are all large fowl. Then we get into large fowl buff lace. This is the male I kept this year. I hatched and kept him. Those are the two males from last year. A lot of these pullets are this year's hatch. There's only four from last year. In here. Like this one right here is this year's hatch. That one's this year's hatch. That one's this year's hatch. This one's from last year. This one's from last year. Um, that one. And last pin, large fowl gold laced. There's the two roosters. I'll go back around so you can see the hens. I didn't raise any up from the gold lace this year. Sold everything. All the chicks that were hatched. There they go. But yeah. Three frizzles and then one smooth and then two smooth roosters. So, see if you can see them a little bit better here. Now these frizzles, the reason they got that white in their crest is because they are one quarter toll bunt. So after this next generation, they'll be seven eighths gold laced and one eighth full bunt. So hopefully that limits the white in their crest. But uh, yeah, I'll probably start hatching again. Um, probably March. Probably get everything set up for breeding early February. Um, I got my 4x4 four four pins I'll use to do some selective mating, but that's this year's birds that I'm wintering, so hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll show y'all the white bantam white custard real quick again, because this pin's pretty, this pin, pin is the fullest pin, like 20 in here or something.